thousands of people have flocked to Food Fest today, but it's not just about food. Tonight we'll have the message behind this massive rally in our backyard. Several thousand people gathered for a protest of a different kind of farmland near Shelburne today. They were there opposing a plan to build a mega quarry in the area. The Highland Companies wants to mine over 2,000 acres of land for limestone in Melanchthon Township. And as Rob Cooper explains tonight, there are many fears over what impact such a massive quarry will pose. If we let them do it, we'll be sorry. Come walk with me. Stop the mega quarry. The people from the country and the city flock to a group of farmers' fields for a day of music, food, and protest. I have a plan to dig a quarry just north of Shelburne. Food stock was set up near St. Hampton to protest a proposed massive quarry that would be built on what many people call valuable farmland. Farmland owned by Bill French that is being used as a rally point today. What would it be like for you to have a quarry across the street next door to your farm? Uh, noisy, dusty, loss of water, our crops would probably dry up. Uh, I think it would probably chase agriculture away from this area. The fat actually slows down the whole curing and then it helps the leg cures it really even. On the grounds were more than 100 of Canada's top chefs scattered throughout the bush, brewing up dishes made from only Ontario growing food. Smoke beef, man. We spotted Peter Stinson and his wife among the crowd today. They came up from Toronto. How was the fall? Oh, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it's great. You have no food left in your dish. Yeah, I don't. No. <laughs> you noticed that. I noticed right? you have two dishes and one fork. Well, one's for my wife. <laughs> Others were here for more political reasons. Um, but this is really good. This is something that we needed to do, and uh, it's it's a uh, hope continue until we crush the quarry. I've been looking around the world. You got some. Free to grow, people. Dozens of big day musicians were also part of Foodstock. So I used to go to Mom Romano, which is right around the corner here, and not here anymore because of another quarry. Jeremy Taggart is with the band Our Lady Peace. He jumped at the chance to MC the event and admits he's surprised with the turnout. But I cannot believe it. I was in the, just the parking lot over there, one of the three parking lots, and I couldn't see the end of the cars. Several thousand people showed up for the rally. Police are reporting no issues despite the big crowds. Our organizers are so happy with the turnout and success of today's Food Fest, they say they will be back again next year with an even bigger event as the fight against the massive quarry is far from over. Rob Cooper, CTV News, near Hampton. And opponents to the proposed Melanchthon Quarry may have to find a new way to voice their opinion in Orangeville. Residents there are being asked not to display their Stop the Mega Quarry signs on lawns within the municipality following a complaint. Now, according to town bylaws, Orangeville only allows postings of real estate, election, or contractor signs on residential lawns.